Ammonite as well. We must be able to laminate some old chat we can sell on there. <laughs> There's got to be something. Let's go to Slip. The phones have gone a bit crazy, actually. We, we might have to do chat. It's fate on Friday when yeah, you come back. That's fine. Let's go to Sloop John B. Good evening, Sloop. Hello to Cass. Hello to Ian. Hello oh. to Sloop. Hello. Listen, I've read a book this week. Oh, you show off! Show off! Yeah. Yeah. Show off. Yeah. I'm yeah. Intellectuals, <laughs> listen to this. I bet you're wearing glasses. It kind of is connected to you slightly. Let me down a rabbit hole. I read Face the Music by Paul Stanley. Oh, the Paul Stanley autobiography. I yeah. think I've I think I've read that. I've got it. I, I can't remember. It's I fantastic. think I've read it. It's really, really good. And you know what? The I whole sort of thing with the Motley Crue film was a bit of a disappointment. Someone recommended me it. Yeah, yeah. And I checked it out. I, it really, I mean, he thinks he's right about everything. Yeah. And there's a lot of sort of like sort of glamour models and mirrored bedroom ceilings and stuff, stuff like that. But... Yeah. What I want to ask you about, Ian, was I started looking into Kiss, and I'd heard on a podcast someone tell an absolutely horrific story about Gene Simmons. Oh, well, okay, well, that, that's probably pretty easy to do. He's a slime bag. Yeah, yeah, and I listened to this radio interview he did a couple of years ago with yeah. someone called Terry Gross. Have you ever heard this interview? I have not heard the interview with Terry Gross and Gene Simmons. What is the, what well, is the horrific story? It, it, well, basically, this guy who was a presenter, had been a fan of his, and was going to interview him. Yeah. And Gene Simmons demanded that he basically be interviewed by a girl. Right, okay. So they said, well, you can sit alongside and because you're the KISS fan, you can ask some questions. And basically, Gene Simmons said to him, I want you to turn around and face the other way when he tried to talk to him. Oh, okay. my. And sort of a, a, yeah, and a producer came on and said, well, we're ending this here, this stop. And I, was, I then was sort of led by the link to this interview with Terry Gross. And I think he is absolutely vile. And it sort of ties, ties into what you said about, you know, with Michael Jackson and R. Kelly and stuff like well, that. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You, you, you have raised a point that are uh, cognitive dissonance in my head because I have seen Gene Simmons in action, right? I've, yeah. in, I've interviewed him. And yeah. uh, I interviewed him with uh, my previous producer, Eloise, when I was at Absolute, who Eloise is an attractive young woman. Right. And when... We were got, we were it was me and Eloise and Gene Simmons were in the sort of reception of this place we were doing it and we had to and the, the sound guy came downstairs says right we're ready if you want to come upstairs okay so Gene allowed Eloise to go up first and he put his hand up her uh, up her dress good and, lord yeah and and to my shame John I, and I am ashamed of this yeah. I should have told him to f off and said right we're going. And I didn't. Yeah. What, I, I followed Eloise's lead. That's not an excuse because she was a younger woman and I should have taken the lead. As, I should have taken the lead. Sure. She kind of laughed it off and went, oh, Jean. Which is, by the way, standard procedure. Yes, exactly. Because you just want it to stop. Oh, exactly. And we, I, and I don't think I could get into their music. Well, I can totally yeah. get that. And, and I, here's the thing. Go on. The, the interview, he, he is absolutely vile in yeah. it. I mean, yeah. it's horrific what he says to this woman. He's yeah. sexist. Um, you know, and he just says basically it's it's all about money and sex and that's it. But oh, that's but that's, that's his standard line is it's all about money and it's all about he sex. Says, yeah. He has this line where he says to it, if you welcome me with open arms, you have to welcome me with open legs or something. And I was listening hey. to him and I thought I actually want to turn this off now. It's a shame because I was thinking after reading the Paul Stanley book, I would love to get into Kiss's music, but I just don't mm. think I can now. I, and I, you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. And here's here's the here's the the cognitive dissonance for me. Yeah. I've bought tickets to see Kiss in July, despite... Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Despite me thinking that he is a scumbag. He is a scumbag. There's no, there's no, there's no way around it. There's no, I'm I, almost mistaken for a character, but he seems quite legit. Yeah, he's, you know? he's horrendous. He is horrendous. And I bought tickets to go and see them in July. I, you I, made I, that sort of... Well, I haven't. I feel I feel guilty saying it. I'm, I'm, it's good that I feel guilty. I should feel guilty for saying it because yeah. I'm I'm kind of funding it. But which is I really want to see kids. I think. I mean, or just someone. Someone's given some PR direction. But it was just as oh, it's too late. It, the, it's too late. The yeah. first time I'd ever heard an interview where I could feel blood rushing to my face, like I was getting angry yeah. listening to what he had. Oh, you to should say, have heard the interview with Noel Sullivan last night. Man, it was getting tense. I did. <laughs> Man, well, it nearly well, kicked well. off. I wanted to punch that guy in the nose. <laughs> Well, it's good that you didn't. But listen, happy Easter to both of you, all right? Why is this a, is this a thing, saying happy Easter? I've never said happy Easter in my life. All right, well, listen, by the way, you can still buy Vosine. How about that? Thank you very much indeed. Wow, That's how I like whammy. to end the call. It is, um, it is interesting, because, I, I, yeah, I did the interview and we all laughed. And I've seen Kiss a couple of times after that, 
And there's been a few other stories about Gene Simmons. There's a few others. I've got my suspicions in some areas. And, but I bought tickets to go and see, we're going to go and see Kiss. Yeah. But he's not the only person in the band. Well, he's, he's 50% of the original members in the band. Yeah, but... um, you're right, he's not. You're, yeah, he's not, but... It's, you know, it's totally different from going to see someone who is, it's just that guy. Isn't it? No, because just that guy will also have a band and will also have road crew working for them. We'll also have families that are dependent on them. It's a tough one, and it's it's a real and it's made that call. Thank you for that, Sloop Jombie. That call has made me feel uncomfortable, mm. but in a in a healthy way because it's making me question yeah. what I'm doing and what I've done. Probably still going to go. I can't see my mind changing that much that I won't go, but. Um, yeah, I feel a bit scummy about it, uh, definitely. But we're not going, because I want to come, we're not going to support Gene Simmons. No, um, we're not. Well, who's, who's, um, whose makeup are you going to wear? Oh, we have to wear makeup, by the way. I'm going to be the cat man. All right, well, I've just bought the most amazing T-shirt. Okay, was it? Uh, oh, look at that, yeah, okay. You bought um, Gene Simmons' T-shirt. <laughs> oh, three, four, 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 nine, nine, one thousand. Last 10, 15 minutes of the show. Gosh, that's flown by. This is Talk Radio. Across the UK, online and on DAB. Talk Radio. We have ways of making you talk. Is she checking me out? Surely not. Here we go. She's coming over. Play it cool, Josh. Play it cool. Excuse me. You dropped your card. Oh. Some mornings just call for a sausage and egg McMuffin. <laughs> 